At first, I was like, these things kind of do seem overpowered. How would you be able to defend from them? But this territory system, I think... <laughs> they don't care. Wait. Energy weapons don't annoy it? Are they immune to energy weapons? The logistics of trains just got so much better now that we can go above ground. That's crazy. I really like the naming scheme that they go with this thing, like the strafers that literally strafe around you, the biters that literally bite you, the spitters that literally spit at you. All right, hello, my name is Mr. Wise Guy, and welcome to Factorio's website. Yes, and we're gonna be uh, talking about the Demolisher. Um, it's a new enemy type on Vulcanus or Valcanus or however you pronounce it. Before we get into anything else, uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe and comments are good too. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, let's just throw myself right here because uh, this is a good spot, isn't it? Like right before the Factorio word starts. That's a good spot. That is a good spot. Anyways, we're going to be talking about uh, Fact Friday Facts uh, 429, uh, the, vo the Demolisher, basically. I have not watched the video for the Demolisher, so this will be a live reaction. But uh, just to get some of the stuff out of the way, we're going to be talking about the uh, introduction of the... Well, yes, the Demolisher. Um, segmented enemies mechanics, because uh, I got notes that I'm reading off of. Combat and strategy, volcanic eruptions, territory and the territory system. A completely new system. That's cool. Let's watch the video now. And uh, it's in 4K on YouTube. Wait, these are new. Sorry, I'm going to do a lot of pausing because like this is my first time watching it. Um, we got new... Uh, Miners, what? That's interesting. Okay, all right. Also, elevated tracks are just mind-blowingly different. So very game-changing. Like it's, oh man. The logistics of trains just got so much better now that we can go above ground. That's crazy. But anyways, let's keep going. I'll try not to stop it so much. Oh, what? Yo. Yo. Hold up. Is this playing in 4K? Well, I mean, my screen right now is only 1440, so we'll keep going. That's... Oh, damn. Those things are literal giant tanks. How would you be able to destroy something like this? And it just continues on destroying everything else. That's crazy. Oh, we're only halfway. There's more. Oh, okay. So what's going on is that whenever he steps into the cloud that this thing um, leaves behind, it damages him. That's, uh, that's an interesting mechanic. That kind of sucks. Oh, it's not moving as fast. Interesting. Damn, they're so, whoa, this one's giant. So they come in different shapes and sizes. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, there you go. You got it mad. Wait. Hold up. Here's a theory. Well, I mean, I'm about to read it in the thing, but here's a nice little theory. Energy weapons don't uh, annoy it. Are they immune to energy weapons? Either they're immune to energy weapons, like the laser, or you can kill them with energy weapons and they don't get like, they don't get bothered or affected. So you would want to use like the new Tesla weapon that they put into the game. Oh, that's so interesting. Cool, all right. I mean, we're about to figure it out when we read the actual thing, but I want to watch this. Oh, 
Oh my god. It seems like there's a ton of environmental, like, damage. Space Age. Factorio Space Age. Yes. By the way, this is coming out in October 21st. Anyways, let's get back into the uh, the actual uh, thing. So, yeah, that that's a thing. They also talk about the prototyping and how they prototyped it. They literally just used a biter. And uh, one last thing about the uh, segments. Uh, I forgot about that when uh, for prototyping. I think basically, because they didn't really go in depth in this, you should try and destroy the segments. You attack the uh, the segments instead of the actual main body or, or the head. The head probably has the most amount of armor. But if you, it looks like if you light fire and you have it burn throughout all the segments, you do like a multiplicative damage or, wow, looks that, look at that. Even the mines are pretty damn good now. Wow, that's pretty cool. So it seems like this thing has a, the, the demolisher i really like the naming scheme that they go with this thing like the the like the strafers that literally strafe around you the biters that literally bite you the spitters that literally spit at you the uh the wigglers that literally just wiggle around um, from the other new planet from uh i forget what you call it but it's like the swampy planet and then they got the stompers that literally try to stomp on you and now we got the demolisher that literally tries to demolish everything in its path <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is interesting though. I think they were just exploring some thumbnail sketches to help with explaining potential weapon mechanics. We've decided on two main abilities. The Demolisher would have a roar or shockwave. The thing that we saw in the video, while well, like everything looked like smoke and stuff, I think that was the shockwave. So like the ground rumbling. And the, since the ground was rumbling, it damaged whatever was uh, standing on top of it. And then I guess this is something else that we saw. So I guess they have a shockwave. And then they have the ground triggers volcanic eruptions. Yes, that's what this is. I think that's what we saw in the video. You're not 100% safe just by avoiding the head. Ah, uh, yes, because it literally just, it's a giant worm that moves really slowly and you just shoot it forever. Okay, so the territory system. This is something really unique. I like how every single planet that we're going to go on is going to have a different type of system on how things work. So it seems like... If you don't build in their territory, you don't have to worry about your stuff getting destroyed. Okay, so the territory mechanic in Factorio involves demolishers basically patrolling specific areas of the map. These areas are essentially uh, unlocked until the demolisher is defeated. Once you take down this massive enemy, the previously restricted territory becomes accessible, allowing you to expand your base or operations. This mechanic adds a strategic layer to the gameplay as it forces you to conquer powerful enemies to gain more space and resources for your growing factory. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I Honestly, I... <clears throat> I'm kind of for it, but I'm also kind of... Couldn't you have made it more like a... Um, like, I like the territory aspect, but not being able to build within these areas until you've unlocked it, I think that's a... I think that's a... Well, actually, because of how strong these enemies are, even if you were to try to build this and, sh like, defend it as much as you possibly could, they probably would still end up, like... I think these things have so much health like, you, I don't think there's weapons in the game that could possibly destroy it before it destroys, like, the entire facility. So I'm guessing maybe this is the reason why they did, decided to do, like, a territory-type system. But at the same time, you don't really have to worry about your base until you go into, like, until you step into their territory. I'm, uh, I'm quite confused. Like, it, it, this is super easy. You just gotta go and destroy the demolisher, and then you go in. What I think they should do, honestly, to make it more fun, is to lower the health of Demolisher and be a, like still keep the territory mechanic, but make it even more restrictive, I guess. But it's so it kind of forces the player to actually try and build in these uh, uh, locations for uh, and kind of been and then try and like fortify those specific locations extra beefy, like like the strategic value would be even more there or you could just avoid it uh entirely but be very very restrictive that would make it more fun honestly but kind of making it like you can build right up to the edge and you'll be safe 
Like, I, I maybe that's not, maybe there's some leeway. Maybe there's some leeway. I don't know. There's no need to build perimeter walls. That is funny. That is funny. Some players feel the demolishers are overpowered and others think they are in a good place. If demolishers were a conventional enemy, then they would be too strong. Okay. Now reading this, I kind of understand why they're doing it this the way that they're doing it with the territory system. I think the territory system is probably the biggest thing in this entire update. What their explanation is, because it seems kind of really overpowered. I think what they're trying to do, since they have multiple planets, they they don't want the same thing. They want they want to try some different. They want to try different things, different mechanics for different planets. Typically, in like normal factorial, you can kind of cheese your way to the end without putting too much investment into your character. Uh, in the combat side of things, everyone can kind of just cheese it, but this one kind of forces you to do that. It forces you to really heavily invest and actually like use all the different mechanics that Factorial has to offer in the combat system to actually defeat these giant things. I actually like that. I actually, I approve. I approve because every other planet, you can do it the normal way that you normally do it. But this one, you really got to heavily invest in something that you wouldn't typically do in normal Factorial. So I, I think that's a, I think this is a good move. I think that's a good move. Yeah, I like this. I like this direction. At first, I was like, these things kind of do seem overpowered. How would you be able to defend from them? But this territory system, I think I think I kind of like it now that I'm thinking about it more. But anyways, uh, just remember to uh, like and subscribe and comment is great too. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching.